What's going on guys? So this is another Python exercise aimed at beginners. Now in this video we are going to create a function called string repeat or str repeat which is going to take in a string object and it's going to output the same string object but with every character duplicated. So just to clarify what I mean let me just run this function and you'll see that the output is t-t-e-e-s-s-t-t-i-i-n-n-g-e. So we took the word testing and returned another string object with each character duplicated. So I want you guys to give this a try and after you're done, you can check my solution. All right, welcome back guys. All right, so for this particular exercise, there's actually multiple solutions. So I'll start off with the simplest one and then we'll go through some uh, a more complicated version. All right, so I have a function called string repeat, which takes in a string object. So what we do is we first create an empty string. So a new string with two quotation marks, which is basically an empty string. Now we're going to iterate through each character of the string object that we fed into this function. So we fed into this function the string object or the word that we want to repeat. And we're going to go through character by character. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add each of these characters to new string. But instead of just adding one instance of the character, we're going to add two instances of the character. So we'll go through each character and we'll continue to build a new string so that finally it ends up with two characters for each character that we loop through. Now we can change this and test it out once again. And if I run this you'll see that we get PPYYMM and Moondress2, so we get four instances of that, N-N-E-E-D-D-R-R-A-A. So this is string repeat. All right, so this is the first version. So let's go over the second version. All right, so this is solution number two. Now map and lambda are aspects of Python or features of Python I've covered. So I highly suggest you guys check out my earlier videos on map and lambda. All right, so let's see what we're doing. Basically, we're creating a lambda, which is a one-line function. So for each character we provide to the lambda function, we want to get back two versions of those characters, or we want to get back two instances of those characters. So whenever we fade in a character, we want to get back two instances. And what we're doing is we're joining it with map. So what map is doing is it's iterating through each of the characters of a string object, and we're feeding each of those characters into lambda. So we eventually get back a list, and then we use join to turn that list into string. Now, I'll probably have to create a video on join so you guys could really understand join as well. But basically what it's doing is it's taking a list and it's turning it into a string. And each element within the list that we're creating for map is going to be separated by the character that we provide in front of join. So in front of join, currently we just have two empty single quotation marks. So we're not feeding any new characters. So we're going to be joining each of the list elements returned from map without any space in between or without any special characters in between each element. In our case, we're using an empty string in front of join. So basically we're saying we want to join all the elements and we don't want to use any delimiters or we don't want to have any characters in between each element of the list. So in our case with join, since we're not providing any characters in front of it, we're providing an empty string dot join. We're basically saying join all the elements of the list without any special characters separating them. So just to show you another example, just to clarify things, if I put something like a dash here, or an equal sign, what I'm going to do is run this now and you'll see that each character is separated by the equal signs. In our case, each character meaning uh, T T E E S S T T because Lambda is actually returning uh, each character as a string of two characters. But since we're using an empty string here, if I run this, it just combines all the elements returned from map into one single word. All right, so that's map and Lambda with join. So this is the more intermediate now we can also use regular expressions. So I might create a separate video on that or something similar uh, showcasing how you can use regular expressions. All right, so that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time.